there are forces at play beyond my understanding. I am not conscious of them, yet they control me. The bridge between these forces and the physical world is the conscious mind. But are we the conciliators or the puppets? What does it mean to be American? Anyone? What separates our ideals from other nations? Is it our language, territory, bloodlines, history? I think it's just because we have such a diverse culture here in America. Like we, we're in the land of immigrants. Like just we're drowning in culture. Yes, culture is a big part of what makes us who we are. But culture influences everyone differently. How do we pick up a culture? Um, well, I think we like, get our culture from our surroundings as well as from watching our parents. Uh, not necessarily, because that doesn't explain why p kids from the same family can have very different dreams. Well, I believe that, you know, there is a choice, and that's in the heart. In the heart, heart. In this subjective universe, there is such a thing as right and wrong. Good and evil are distinct entities, but the line between them is often ambiguous. So what do you think about all this? To be honest, I'm not quite sure. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. And you gotta remember, I'm the one on the outside in all this. Someone's feelings are gonna get hurt. You've done a lot to help the company. Natural to feel unsure. The nature to feel unsure and uneasy. I don't know. Humanitarianism wasn't something they taught us in business school. I really don't expect I'm doing much to help people. You've done a lot to help people doing what you do. Do a good job. Change lives. Now what's this concern you've got? We have a problem. Get a hold of yourself. Sorry, man. Thinking about you ever get the feeling you're destined for greatness? Oh my god, here you go again. Why can't you just humor me? Go. Oh. There's gotta be something more than this. And I know it's out there for me, and I'm gonna find it. Man, you have a job, a car, a house with a yard. That's half the American dream. I wanted to travel. I wanted to see the world. And even better than that, I wanted to see it in the rearview mirror from outer space. Space travel is for billionaires. Why can't you just save up some extra money and buy a new car? Jim, right here. Right here, you and me, okay? We're not talking about that again. And frankly, man, this isn't just about me. You can't possibly tell me you like working here. I'm just content with the way things are. I don't go try and change them and mess everything up. There are more concerning things than a job. You remember my last Christmas party at the boss's house? That stupid BYOB sign? <laughs> I remember you ran up and kicked the door and we drove away like a couple high school kids, man. And that was a good time, but there's gotta be more than that, man. Better good times, something different. And you just have to start dating again. You gotta get over this divorce. Maybe a younger girl. No, that's absolutely not what I need right now. Let's go to the bar. We need to get some drinks. That's actually the first good idea you've had all day. Everyone 
man, if you want to do that little detour, I'll just be waiting for this. Alright, man. I'll see you there. Don't leave me hanging. side of town. Send you to the hospital. Well, that was my first bar fight. <laughs> and I could tell. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw the whole thing. Hey, you're a good guy. My name's Don DeGero. I'm the CEO of a business downtown. We're always looking for uh, good guys, helpful guys. This recruitment ends by uh, the end of the week, so I want to see you in my office on Friday. Got it? Have a good day. And so began my descent into the criminal world. This company's got the company. Did you get my message, man? What'd you think? You got into a bar fight and you're asking me about some random job some guy offered you? Get your priorities straight. I wasn't trying to get my face kicked, dude. I was trying to help somebody. You always do that. You just jump into a situation without reading it. Why can't you just support me for some, for once? It's something I'm trying to do. It's not like if I said no, you would listen anyway. Do you even know what you'd be doing? Totally. Probably. Maybe. I, you know, it's, it's going to be fine, man. The job application just said good people skills and a marketing background. I got both. You know, I never heard of the company, but I looked them up earlier. They have international branches everywhere. Today's the last day to apply, man. I'm going over after work. Yeah, well, break two legs. Maybe you can get a new job and stop bothering you so much. You know what, man? I would, but I think getting punched in the face was enough for the week. See you next time. Welcome. Have a seat. Thank you. We've been expecting you. We'll be filling you in on how this company operates and your role with us. Now, have you worked in a company setting before? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm currently working for Smith's Copy and Craft Shop just down the road here. Well, uh, what's your position there? I'm the retail department manager. Do you like working with people? For the most part, yes. <laughs> well... Our company might work in a little bit different way than you're used to. Uh, we have a system of authority that follows uh, each particular job. Um, we don't use our regular names for any company functions or meetings. In fact, we each, uh, each member has a, a nickname that uh, reflects their rank within the company. Agree to these terms sign at the bottom and the job is yours. Hmm. 
<clears throat> I'm sorry for, for the extra questions. I'm just confused a little bit um, with regard to, well, you, you told me what, who the company is. I'm just cu curious as to what does the company do? Uh, what, is, what does this job entail exactly? Well, you'll be delivering important documents to our clients personally and um, making sure that our social network is functioning as it should. Good. Good. Our board has reached a consensus. You've got the job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. been here in ages. I used to come jogging here every week. I'm surprised to see you. I didn't expect to see you till Monday. Good place to come clear your mind. I think I started to come here well, I, well when I first became CEO of the company. Clear your mind? But I thought this company was internationally known as one of the most renowned companies in the world. Well, well think performance standards. It's not just about appearances. All companies wear masks. So, we want customer compliance. Let me ask you something. Ben, uh, ben Ramana, what do you think makes people dream? Dreams are just a representation of our, our potential, our better selves. Good answer. Well put. I see now why it was a good choice to make you our mediator. I don't know about all that. I just wanted to work someplace different for a while and see where it'd take me. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. You found a procedure, you finish the job, and in no time at all, you'll be sitting on our board. Ambitions like that are gonna have me down here trying to clear my head. Exactly, and that's precisely why we have weekends off. Now, you rest up tomorrow, and I will see you 9 a.m. sharp Monday morning. Good deal, boss. Take care. All right. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um, I've never actually been in this building before. Is there any chance you could show me where they're meeting? Sure. Thank you. Okay, so it's going to be down this hallway and to your right. Oh, down there. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot. Time. Come on in, have a seat. How are you doing? Good to Go see on. you. I was going to apologize for being late. <laughs> we run on company time here. We start all of our meetings 10 minutes after the appointed hour. Gives our uh, employees a little break. They don't have to feel rushed. It's a pretty handy policy. I guess I don't owe you an apology then. <laughs> Silverfish, I've got a job for you. And it's a job that can't be done by just anybody. Got it? I think so. So, 
you've got a quality that nobody else in this goddamn company's got. And you know what it is? Well, I thought I was here to be getting experience. You try and do the right thing. And that makes me trust you. But trust has to be earned. It's not given freely. This is what I got for you. Wait a minute, Don. I really think you might have the wrong person here. You can and you will. But you're not going to do it alone. Over there, that's Joey. He's our newest intern. Jesus. Silverfish, this is huge. I can see in your eyes that you don't think you can do it. I know you can. All right. But I still have one more question. Why does everybody keep calling me Silverfish? Morrison didn't seem too pleased to see me. Perhaps he expected Don to come himself. Yet, when I mentioned the merger, I think I saw something like fear in his eyes. He was a pretty big guy. He wheezed and sputtered as I made my case. In the end, he proved amenable. And I can only assume that was because his hands were tied. Tied by strings invisible to me. Pasta. Glad you found the place. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. I wasn't sure if this was the right place. This looks really empty from the outside. It's intentional. I made quite a few enemies in my life. Just kidding. Hey, Chelsea, come on down. We've got company. Coming. My daughter. You must be silver. You're cuter than I thought you'd be. Now you behave yourself, young lady. Food's on the table. Let's get some food. Let's eat. And then we'll talk business. All right. I'm starved. A little more wine, sir. Oh, please. Thank you. How's that? Perfect. Thanks. Sure. I'm good. Thank you. So, Chelsea, what did you learn with Sierra today? We learned about subatomic physics. Did you know that teleportation is actually possible? What? Well, on a subatomic level, matter is merely the vacancy or existence of disbursements of energy. Motion is simply the transportation of particles from one point in space to an infinitesimally different place in the universe. Sierra is Chelsea's private tutor. Cost me a fortune, but she's getting the best damn education this town can offer. No kidding. It sounds like you're getting your money's worth. I never had any time for that science stuff myself. Uh, I started working at 12 years old in the Bronx, selling fish, hard work, working from dawn to dusk. Daddy never learned how to read or write, but he taught himself by reading the signs in the marketplace and then copying down the characters. I taught myself to read. Not much else. All I know is the business. That isn't true. You learned how to raise a daughter. How about you, Silver? What's your story? Silver, 
This is your biggest job yet. I think you're finally ready. What I want you to do is take this briefcase and deliver it to some of my business partners overseas. This briefcase along with this letter. Hand it over to them and they'll take it from there. I don't know, Don. I don't think I'm the one for this. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. These are dangerous people. They don't like foreigners. They're not going to like you. Hell, they don't even like me. But you know what? They fear me. And sometimes fear works better than friendship. Use that letter as your shield and guard it at all costs. Project Gold has commenced. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. Boy, you're a good kid. We've got to move fast. Don will never see this coming. He's always been so careful. Shall we? Breaking news on the conspiracy case. New information given by an anonymous informant has the CIA chasing more leads than ever before. Lead investigator Kathy Frost had this to say. Hello? Yes, this is he. I've got a few questions for you concerning a certain individual you have been in contact with. You might not know this, but our nation is under the threat of the biggest conspiracy we've seen since Watergate. No, no, I wasn't aware of that. Um, wait a minute, who is this? Are you under the employment of Don Daguerre by any chance, sir? Well, well yes, I, I, I've worked for him. I see. Are you aware that Don has been under investigation for fraud, identity theft, corporate espionage, and counterfeiting for the past two months? No, 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 no. That's impossible. I met Don. That's You got the wrong guy. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm your tone. Am, am I... How do, how do I fit into all this? You're under review. It means it would be very unwise for you to leave the country right now. I know that Daguerre gave you something. Something important. Bring it to my office at 4 p.m. sharp tomorrow, or there will be consequences. Is this understood? He didn't give me anything. It's over, son. I think to some extent, I always knew the truth about Don. That's why Kathy's words struck so hard. I wanted to take Don by the shoulders to shake him until he admitted to his innocence. to help the company. Natural to feel unsure. The nature to feel unsure and uneasy. I don't know. Humanitarianism wasn't something they taught us in business school. I really don't expect I'm doing much to help people. You've done a lot to help people doing what you do. Do a good job. Change lives. Now what's this concern you've got? We have a problem. A big problem. The CIA called me last night. The fucking CIA. What the fuck? I don't know why. Okay. Look. I never should have taken the job. I never should have helped that guy out at the bar. I never should have tried the new bar. What? Never mind. Look, 
They know that Tilbert and Morrison, they're small fives. They're coming to get you, John. We got to get you out of here. I'll tell you what, I'll take the heat for this. You get to your house, pack up your shit, I'll send one of my guys by, pick you up, and take you out to the airport in my private jet. Use that money in the briefcase to build yourself a new life. I don't know what to say to that. Don't say anything. Just one more thing. Name it. Burn that fucking letter. Done. Took her, damn it. Easy, 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 easy. Who are you talking about? Took who? Chelsea. You took my Chelsea. Shit. You're telling me that everyone on this list is somehow involved in this mess? Yes. I was at some of those meetings. I realized this was the smartest choice. I revealed myself because I want to request protection and a small compensation for the arrest. I think you forgot a name on this list. Oh? Wait, what are you doing? I give you guys valuable information. We will determine if this info is worth our investigation. I think you know full well the extent of your involvement. We'll go to check out the supposed warehouse exchange tonight and smoke the maggots out. Go easy. Easy my ass. Let those motherfuckers call. No call. They can't do anything until they do. Son of a bitch. Just gotta tough it out. I'm gonna need you clear headed though. Go, go a little lighter. Fuck that. Hello. Hello. We've got the girl. I expect Don to be there as well. Tell him to bring me the briefcase and the letter or he'll never see his daughter again. You don't think you're going a little bit overboard with this? You know, the girl doesn't have anything to do with this. Someone ratted us out. It's only natural that we have collateral. 511 Walnut Street. Be there by midnight. Let me guess. They got Chelsea and they want the goddamn letter, right? Silver, do you believe in karma? Don, this isn't your fault. Those old farts are just practicing self-preservation right now. They don't care about your daughter. I told you I'd get her back. No, no. I can't let you do that for me. I got us into this. I'm gonna get us out. Seriously? You're pulling a gun on me now? Hey, don't take another step. Don't make me shoot you.
brown doe eyes shimmering behind a veil of smoke. Within them I saw the specter of innocence, and I knew it was for that innocence that I raised my gun. <laughs> Sure, I knew him. He was my best friend. But damn, I never would have thought he had it in him. What a crazy motherfucker. This is my lonely place. This is my secret cancer. And this is the skin that I shed. There is no saving grace. There is no final answer to all the questions. This is the time that I waste all day Cause I spend it 